I've uh, got the rip flip fence system installed on my Delta Unisaw. I did the beta testing with woodpeckers for the rip flip on the Unisaw. Uh, what I want to share with you is uh, how I use my rip flip on my Unisaw to cut dados just using a standard width blade, just a single blade. I'm not installing a dado, and you don't want to set up a dado stack. You don't want to be changing out blades. So here's what you can do. Use a rip flip system, which you can use with your dado, but you don't need a dado to do it. So what we're going to do is establish first the height of our the height of our blade, which I've got at a quarter inch, or thereabouts. And then we're going to set the bottom end of our dado, how far the dado is going to be from the edge of the board. So for this example, we're going to do a half inch. And then you take your left hand uh, rip flip and you slide it over until it contacts the fence and you lock it down. All right. Now, you need to set the upper end of, out of the dado. And for this example, we're going to use this piece of half inch material. And we're going to cut our dado in this piece of three quarter inch pre-finished maple plywood. The first thing you need to do is you need to get the thickness of the blade. Right now I've already done that by taking a scrap piece of wood here and just running it through to check my depth. And I've got uh, it's just a shade over a quarter of an inch. But I'm not worried about the depth for this example here. But I've got the kerf now. And I take my caliper, I just need that distance. That's going to equal the thickness of the blade. So lock your caliper down to get that thickness. Now for this blade, which is a Forest Woodworker 2, it's a 40 tooth blade. It happens to be an eighth of an inch. I use this piece of, piece of aluminum, which is an eighth of an inch thick. And I just keep it here at my saw, and I use that as a spacer. But I'm showing you how you can do it with the caliper. Now we move the fence out of the way. And we're going to set, set our, the gap on our flip stops to be that eighth of an inch. right? And I do it with, I do it using this piece of eighth inch thick aluminum right in there. Right, so that gives me the thickness of the saw blade. I move the fence back inside the flip stops and I can adjust for the thickness of my material right here. And I can adjust how snug I want that dado to be right here by how I adjust this screw right here. And once I get it where I like it, then I can use the, the thumb wheel here and lock that down. Okay, so now once you've done that, You've got the top side of the, the upper side of the dado set. But what you need to do is come back down here to where we have our gap. I'm going to move the fence out of the way. You normally wouldn't have to do this, but it's just so you can see. We have our gap here from the saw blade. We're going to open this back up and let those two flip stops move back together. Now, I don't have the coupling pin installed here. I took the coupling pin out and I replaced it with a couple 3-8 diameter magnets that I just set in the hole where the coupling pin goes. So I have magnetic coupling on my flip stop. It works really really well. You don't have to mess with a hex wrench or anything. You don't have to keep track of that flip stop. So, so now I bring those together and I lock them together. Bring my fence back inside. And now you see, my material doesn't fit because now we've deducted the thickness of the saw blade from the gap here. And now we're ready to cut. So I'm going to go turn the saw on, and I'm ready to cut my dado in this piece of material here. I've got my flip stop set up. I've got the fence in there. i got it locked over to the one side, and I'm ready to start cutting.
like that. You've got a perfect dado. The snug is whatever you dialed in over here. It's that quick. Now, it's not as fast as when you, if you put a dado stack in, because there you can do it in two passes. But if you're in the middle of a project and you don't want to change out your blade, it's handy to do with a, a single blade that you have installed in your saw. You can just do a couple passes, in this case, four passes, three with an eighth inch thick blade. If you were cutting out drawer bottoms and you needed a quarter inch dado, you know, it's two passes and you're there. So that's my tip for using a rip flip. If you're interested in uh, putting a rip flip on your unisaw, I suggest you give them a call. Let them know there's interest and maybe they'll release a kit. That's all from here. Thanks for watching.